Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Uh, I appreciate you being back here. Uh, so today I am going to um, make a rosary. Um, I have, the rosary I'm making is from a kit that I have on my Etsy shop. If you are interested in this kit, please um, click on the link below in the description bar um, and you'll be able to go see the kits in my Etsy shop. Okay, so first of all, what I'll need to do is um, get an eye pen and a pearl. We're going to add the pearl. I'm going to leave uh, a fourth of the wire and I'm going to cut with my side cutters. Okay, and then now I'm going to get my round nose pliers and I'm going to make a loop. Okay. I'm going to make a few more. And then what I'm going to do after that is I'm going to finish the rest of them off on camera and come back. I'm going to go ahead and cut. Leave a fourth of a wire. And then I'm going to make a loop. And you really don't have to close them all the way. Um, you can leave them open just so you can, um, for when you're ready to connect all of them, that it's easier to connect. All right, so now I'm going to complete the rest of the pearls and I'll be back. Okay, so now I have 53 pearls with eye pins. Um, if you happen to get the kit that has, um, or if that's the kit that you picked, um, that has only the same type of bead, like all pearls, for example, then you would need 59 beads. One of those beads will go in between the other 10 beads. Okay, in this case, I have 53 beads here, and then I have added six, one, two, three, four, five, six glass beads to go in the center of every 10 beads. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and add my eye pin. Um, to all of these the six glass beads Okay, there's one Okay, so I'm going to finish that off camera and then I'll be back. Okay, now I'm going to connect all 50 pearls um, in uh, 10 by 10. So I should have 10 rows or 5 rows of 10 beads. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and start making my rows of 10. And all I do to open them up is just open them up sideways. 
Also be careful when you're opening up sideways because if you open too much, you'll break the wire. I'm just gonna put that in there and then I'm gonna close it back up with my flat nose pliers. Sometimes I also use my round nose pliers. I go back and forth with both of them when I'm making these. This one's already open, so I just have to add it on there. So I'm gonna open it sideways. I'm not sure if I mentioned that, but Okay, so I need one more. I'm gonna go ahead and do the rest and I'll be back okay so I have connected all ten beads so I have one two three four five strands of ten and since I lost three pearls I can't find I have these silver beads these three silver beads 
So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to connect them all together. Okay, I'm going to finish adding the crystal beads um, to the center of every 10. gonna close it Alright, if you see here, I added a jump ring between the glass bead and the pearl bead, and now I need to add another jump ring to both sides to add the other section of beads. While it's still open, you want to add the beads on there and then close them. Okay, so now we have added our five sections with our glass beads in between. Okay, so now at the end, I'm going to add a jump ring to each side and then I'm going to connect them to the connector. There's one side. Okay, so now I'm going to add the bottom half of the rosary. Okay, 
my glass bead's gonna go, my other three beads, and another glass bead. Can't really see that. Okay. So I'm gonna get a jump ring to attach these two sides here. So I've attached that part there, and then I'm going to attach. So there I, that part is attached. Now I have to attach the bottom. The last bead. Okay, so now that that is all attached, I'm going to add the crucifix, the cross. So my intentions were to use this cross here, but the width, height, I don't know, the space is too big for a jump ring and I don't have it. So I have to do something else with it. I will probably add this cross later I'm thinking about uh, wire wrapping it. Um, but for now, I'm going to do a different one. Okay, I'm going to use this one here. And you can use a regular jump ring if you like. Um, I also added the split ring, which is this one here. So it's already added to the cross. So I'm going to go ahead and I use a split ring tool. And I open it there. Okay. And then I'm going to add that part in there here. So I'm just slowly opening up this, the uh, jump ring. And twisting it until it's in there which it's in there see and that is it I hope you found this tutorial helpful um if you would like go on over and uh, look at my kits and um, I really appreciate your time. You have a good weekend and thanks for watching.